That was just a brief musical interlude. <clears throat> so, I thought, just thought, that perhaps you wondered what was inside one of these emergency lighting battery packs. So these are the things you'll see in a hallway of an apartment building or in a stairwell or some public place. And it's plugged into an outlet. And what happens when the power goes off, for whatever reason, these little uh, lights light up and they uh, illuminate the path of egress. So you can get out of the building with lights out. So these are the, <coughs> excuse me, the old style ones. These have uh, incandescent heads in them. All the new ones, uh, these used to draw 9 watts a piece. The new ones are all LEDs, like they draw two watts, something like that. So I just happened to come across a swack of these. Now a swack is obviously more than two or three. So I'm just going to salvage what I can out of this pile and then I'll see what it uh, what it works out to be. So come along with me. First things first, all right? Let's have a little drink. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm still working on this pile of transformers. I'm hoping to have that done by this weekend, but you know these came along I just I couldn't resist it had to be done right so the first thing we shall dispose of is the extension cord and I'm going to cut the end off because on another exciting development I've got some steel tubing in the back of my truck that I'll drag out later and that's going to become the basis of a rocket stove but once I get said rocket stove functional the first thing I'm going to do is cook up a big pot of snobby cord soup. So that's uh, one of the first cord ends towards that project. So extension cord, I'll just keep that right there on the floor for now. There's a good tool for uh, things that are being difficult, tin snips, but these are the straight cut ones. They're uh, called bulldoze tin snips. The uh, curved ones, they have a right hand and a left hand. I've always preferred these uh, bulldoze ones for, uh, they make a straight cut.
there's not really a uh, huge amount of these things. So the main item of interest is going to be your battery. If we can get it out. beauty of scrapping things you don't have to worry about putting them back the way they were so there's our little uh, gel cell battery A bit of copper wire. A little circuit board, but the only item of interest on this is the transformer the tiny bit of copper in that I'll just save that for a summer rainy day on a board. Yeah, it's got a little bit of copper in there, you can see it. Put that aside. Okay, so now the other style I have is this guy. It's a bigger unit, bigger wattage unit. So theoretically it should have a bigger battery in it. And yes it does.
course has to be difficult. the battery in place. So we'll just attack that from a different angle. So much larger gel cell. It's actually uh, two uh, six volters glued together. These batteries supposedly were good till 2028. They didn't make it that long. Hopefully 2020 they'll make it to the junkyard though. brass on the side it's plated brass though but into the pot it must go saving them uh, for when I run across somebody that um, does something with them. Okay. That's another little transformer. Definitely copper in it. Another one for the rainy day pile. So that's the two types. So what I'm going to do is finish them off and then I'll come back. I'll weigh the batteries and eh, maybe a bit of wire, but it's not going to amount to much. So I guess mainly we'll see what the value is in batteries in them. So I will be back shortly. Okay, friends, got all that taken apart. So, as I said, the main area of interest was the batteries. Uh, about, uh, let's see, uh, six of these little transformers. A little bit of weight to them, but not a huge amount. Good, like I say, good rainy day project. And some cord ends for the plug stew. So let's just weigh these batteries up and see what we got. So 
So 19 pounds. Uh, not sure what these batteries are going for right now. I think about 30 cents, but I stand to be corrected. Let's just say 20 pounds for the sake of argument. Six bucks worth of batteries. Yeah, didn't take me very long. 20 minutes to scrap it all up. So it's a bit of extension cord, but that's not worth very much. 30 or 40 cents a pound. And a bit of uh, miscellaneous wire. Not really worth much either. So anyways, that's what's inside those battery packs. Uh, I got maybe six bucks worth of batteries out of the deal. Didn't cost me a thing. So then, uh, next I'm back to uh, busting these babies down. <laughs> Getting that kappa. Anyways, just wanted to show you what you'd get out of your average emergency lighting pack. Bye for now, friends.